Shalom Israel. I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim El Shai, Bashim El Kakwadash, the Bawanis of the Apostles and the Elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to like out there doing this work of faith and labor of love, truth, and sincerity. I want to get into a, uh, just a brief subject of touching on, um, you know, this whole uh, relationship, or if you would want to call it that, between, you know, Jacob and Esau, man, between Jacob and Esau. Between you so-called white people and us uh, <clears throat> of so-called so-called um, African American and Hispanic uh, and Native American descent, you know, this whole war that's been going on between us two nations has to come to an end to the point where what it's us or them, spiritually speaking, of course. You know, because, you know, in today's time, they're trying to constantly pick us out to be not in just in today's time, but in times of old, but even more extremely now. But at the fact we're waking up to who we truly are, you know, they're trying to paint us to be, you know, these violent thugs and criminals and, you know, gangsters and organizations that's trying to do the society some harm. Hey, we doing the society harm by speaking the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. And we are who we truly say we are, and that spiritual men of the Heavenly Father and the Son Yahusha. Okay? And we doing our best to live up to those standards and being as spiritual as possible and not leaning unto a carnal nature as Esau would like us to be. That way he has an excuse, you know, to actually come up against us. But since he doesn't, he has to make up all of these false perceptions of us to damage our reputation, okay, as a part of their tactics, as a part of their structure, you know, to complete everything that they want to get done, man. So it's either us or them. You know, this earth has taken its toll. When you look at, you know, uh, how all of the natural resources of the earth are constantly being sucked out of the earth at a rapid rate, that's what's creating the earth or, or making the earth itself, you know, to get older than what it should be, man. This earth was meant to abide forever. But the state that the rate at the rate in which Esau is destroying it, you know, if the Lord didn't destroy Esau and put us in a righteous state, man, you know, there, there will be nothing left, man, period. And the earth wouldn't be able to be uh, inhabited again, man, if it was all left up to Esau, man. So, Hey, it's us or them, man. And we know what that outcome is going to be through the spirit of Yahweh Bashmael Shah because the scriptures tell us so. You know, so damn anybody else who thinks otherwise, man, or wants to keep, keep seeing this place going on as it has been going on. This is nothing but a wicked society, man. You know, and also what the, the scriptures say in um, Isaiah the 14 chapter, what that even the trees shall rejoice. So the earth itself is longing, desperately longing for this so-called white man to be taken out of power so that it can have a breath, so that it can it can have a rest, it can have a break. And that's what we long for, man. You know, we know according to uh, Baruch the four, uh, 4 and 6 that we were sold to the nations not for our destruction, but because we moved the Heavenly Father to wrath. And Esau being that whooping stick of the Most High and him doing a damn good job of, job of it, you know, he wants to continue this thing forever, man. You know? And he truly sees within his mind that that's going to happen. But he's only convoluting his mind with weak thoughts. That's not going to be, man. You know? And the uh, I learned something recently from um, Dr. Claude Anderson, you know, about uh, the true definition of racism, you know, and... Hey man, everything in which Esau has done and the way he basically explained it was race. You know what? Everybody knows what a race is, you know? You you run in to compete for something. And the ism is the the uh the part of maintaining something or controlling it. You know, or keeping it in the state at which it is pretty much. So the whole race with the so-called uh, uh, Edomite nations, all those different nations up there that was up there, uh, uh, Germany, France, you know, uh, England, all these other Edomite nations, 
you know, when they came into the power during the, the Renaissance in the 1500s, so on and so forth, when they came into power, their whole race was what to enslave us so-called uh, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to use us as their labor workforce, man. And now they continue to maintain that power structure. So that is the true definition of racism, racing to get to a point and then keeping that structure and what you set up in order to get uh, to win that race, man. And that's what they're doing, man. You know? And Lord willing, I'm going to post a clip and, um, you know, probably do a small exhortation on that as well, man. Because, you know, the things of which he was getting into was, was real powerful, man. You know? And that just truly showed me that it's like, yo, man, it's, it is truly us or them. Because, hey, we all know we are tired of this so-called white man over, over us. You know, we tired of having to slave, you know what I'm saying, for his wicked ass and we get the crumbs, man. You know, since uh, early times of them ruling, they've controlled 90% of the wealth, even at points where Jake was 50% uh, of this nation's population. And still unto this day, you know, they control 90% of the wealth and we only own a uh, one half of one percent of the wealth that is 0.5 percent of the nation's wealth man but in the kingdom all the wealth and all the power is going to be what trans transferred over unto us because according to Sirach, uh the 10th chapter i believe it's 10 and 7 and it says um because of uh, uh injurious practice and riches uh Un riches gotten by deceit therefore the kingdom is translated uh from one to another and that's what we're slowly entering that transference of power because of all of esau's injurious practices and how he got these riches by deceit deception man everything when we look at this world is nothing more than a deception and a smoke screen you know for the so-called white man to live lavish and to plant the the seeds of doubt within the you know the minds of the people, you know that uh, these uh, so-called black Hispanics and, Ameri and Native Americans are good for nothing, you know that the so-called Jews are God's chosen people, you know that the so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans, you know they were never nothing. They were always uncivilized. They had no culture. Look at them now. This this the uh, spot in which they're in now displays that you know they can never go anywhere. But little do the masses of the world know, and they're going to be totally told off guard by is what our righteous power, and that is the heavenly Father Yahweh and the Son Yahweh Shah, which are the rightful rulers of this earth, won't suffer us uh, uh, to be put away any longer, man, and is bringing us up. In this uh, manly estate in which we're supposed to be in. Through, you know, uh, uh, the holy prophets. Which is us starting off with the apostles and elders of great millstone, man. You know? And and then the earth can truly look forward to being at some sort of peace. Then can we actually have some peace and some rest. Then can the earth itself rejoice, you know, at something being righteously done to it that it be, it's being nourished and that it can actually nourish the people man you know we all long for uh you know those times where even within the society you know what do everybody look forward to they look forward to you know uh uh retiring you know what i mean rest peace not having to work as hard man you know the pursuit of happiness so to speak which is bullshit within the society you know, we pursue our happiness through the love of Yahweh Bashmi Shah and doing the things in which he delights in. That's our pursuit in happiness is to please the Heavenly Father, which is in turn going to give us what we long for. And as rest, you know, from all this oppression that we've been going under and suffering for for over this uh, uh, four to five hundred year period and all the times of old and us to be properly uh, respecting and obeying our Lord and Savior as we should man you know but these these devils they 
have more than heart could wish, but yet they still want more, man. You know, greed like that only destroys. It doesn't make anything to truly prosper. And that's why their kingdom is going down, man. You know? Hey, so, you know, we all long, you know, uh, uh, for the days of the kingdom. You know, Lord willing, you know, the Lord give us the strength to constantly endure and to endure when the times of Jacob's trouble come upon us and give us, you know, that spirit of conviction and, and seal us with that seal, you know, uh, of exemption, you know, uh, with his holy name upon us, man, you know. So, hey, man, it's either us or them, spiritually speaking. So, uh, you know, with that, you know, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Kakudash, the Bawanis of the Apostles and the Elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the like out there doing this work of faith and labor of love and true sincerity. Shalom.